What's up guys and welcome back to another video. As you can tell or not tell, I'm not sure, <laughs> I am wearing a dress right now. It is New Year's Eve, yes, and I decided to film a video right now because I just got ready for church. Church is not till 10 and it's only 8 right now. We don't have to leave till about 9. So I was like, you know what, I had a really cool video idea and I kind of had it already ready and I was like, I'm dressed up, might as well do it right now, right? Um, don't waste any time and just get it done. So this video I'm really excited about because I did see a couple of other YouTubers do it and I was like doing one of those things where you're kind of just like you're on YouTube for so long that you end up looking at people's like older videos. Um, so I'm thinking, hey, why not bring this back? I was going to use it for my 100 subscriber count video, but I have another idea for that. So I wanted to do this video today. And as you guys can probably already tell from the title, I'm going to be telling you 100 facts about me. I figured, why not? Uh, this is a fun video to bring in the new year and um, just give you a reason to say, hey, why not subscribe to this girl? You know, help me get up to that 100 subscriber count. So, without further ado, let's get on to the video. The first fact, I love Jesus. <laughs> As you all know, I am a Christian and I do love Jesus, so that is the first fact. The second fact, I am multicultural. My dad is from Jamaica and my mom is from Trinidad. My last name is O'Reilly, so people always ask me, why is your last name O'Reilly? My dad's side also has Irish as well as uh, Hispanic roots. So, there you go. The third fact, I am 23 years old. The fourth fact, I am five foot, almost three inches. The fifth fact, my favorite Disney princess is Belle. Number six, my first ever Broadway show I've seen was when I was 19 years old and it was Aladdin. The seventh fact, I love to dance. Eight, I also love to sing. Nine, I am a pastor's kid. Yes, my dad is the pastor of my church. Number ten, I've grown up in church my whole life. So from birth and all the way up to now, I've grown up in the church as well as my siblings. They have been here since they were born and they're all way older than me. So yeah. 11, I love old school music. 12, I love to bake. 13, I love decorating baked goods even more. So I do love to bake, but decorating is more something that I enjoy. It's my favorite thing to do aside from baking. 14, I love trying new recipes. 15, I learned how to cook even more and bake a lot during quarantine. So before that, I did know how to bake like your basics. No, not, yeah, I did know how to bake like your basic stuff. I knew how to uh, cook some basic stuff, but during quarantine, I learned how to make a lot more things. 16, I choreographed for the dance team at my church. 17, I sing and play piano on the worship team at my church. 18, my favorite color is blue. 19. I enjoy styling and trying new hairstyles on my family members. <laughs> 20. I enjoy painting nails. 21. I love to do calligraphy and lettering on my spare time. I don't really have as much spare time anymore right now, but when I do get the chance, I really do enjoy doing that. It's a lot of fun and it takes away some stress. 22. I have a bachelor's in teacher education for grades one through six, and I graduated with honors. Number 23, I am completing my master's degree right now online in education and mathematics. 24, I never wanted to go to college, but ended up loving it. Yes, I was that kid in high school who was like, I don't want to go to college, that's scary, no. I thought I was going to be terrible at it, and then I got in and I was like, I love this. 25, I hate writing papers, but I'm good at it. 26, I loved math in elementary school, hated it in high school, and fell in love with it again in college. This is why I'm doing my master's in math. 27, I am a certified teacher. 28, my favorite ice cream flavors are strawberry, cookies and cream, and mint chocolate chip. 29, I love all types of foods. 30. I have never tried raw cookie dough. Number 31, my favorite season is fall, even though I do appreciate 
um, things about other seasons as well. I have something that I like about each season, but fall is definitely my top. 32. My favorite holiday is Christmas. 33. My birthday is September 26th. 34. My favorite devotional is the Our Daily Bread devotional, and uh, I have the book, and I also have the app. The app, it's literally Our Daily Bread, or odb.org, you can go online, and um, it's just, it's a really good devotional. It's short, and just like, it's something good to start your day. I do not encourage you to have that as your only Bible reading in life, like daily, but it is something just to have a quick read in the morning when you're rushing and you're doing different things. 35. I started a YouTube channel when I was in either junior high or high school that was meant to be a channel for doing singing covers, but I did not get to continue with that. Um, I don't know. I just never kept up with it. 36. My favorite boy band as a child was the Jonas Brothers. 37. My favorite show as a child was Spongebob and then Hannah Montana when I got into like 6th grade, 7th grade. 38. I went to three different private schools from grades 3 through 12. 39. I started off in public school from grades pre-K through second grade. 40. I was on the worship team in high school. 41. I graduated college for my undergrad without receiving any grade below a B. 42. I am the youth leader at my church. 43. I have three nieces and three nephews. 44. I am the youngest of four siblings. 45. I have two older brothers and one older sister. 46. I help direct plays as well as concerts at my church. 47. My mom is my biggest role model. Love you, mom. Sorry. 48. When I was younger, my favorite thing at the park were the swings, and now they give me a complete headache. Like, I can't. They make me feel really nauseous. They give me a headache, and I just, I can't. 49. I love chocolate. 50. I hated fruitcake as a child and now I love it a lot. I hated it all the way until I was about 20 years old. And then I tried it again and I was like, oh, this is not that bad. 51, I used to collect erasers when I was younger. 52, I won best dress for the formal in seventh grade. 53, I was a part of the Christian club in college. Yes, it was really fun. I made a lot of friends that way. So if you're in the college age and you are having a hard time making friends, the Christian club is usually a really good spot for that. 54. I love clothes. I love shopping for clothes and all that fun stuff. 55. Shopping is one of my favorite things to do or even just walking through the mall with like some coffee or something. Just like window shopping. I just love shopping in general. 56. I have sprained my ankle three times in my life. 57. I have been to Jamaica once. These are all connected. 58, I have been to Trinidad once. Um, 59, I have been to Canada twice. 60, my dream is to visit every state in the US. I have visited a lot of states in the US, but not all of them. 61, I instantly learned how to rollerblade at the age of six when I first got rollerblades for my birthday. I just put them on and I basically just knew how to do it. Like. They were like, oh, be careful, be careful, and I stuck them on, and I just started rolling and, like, doing it all, and they were like, how? Yeah. 62. I also instantly learned how to ice skate at the age of 15 in either, it was somewhere in the city, either Bryan or Battery Park, whichever one does the, the ice skating, I don't remember which one. Um, but I basically put them on, got on the ice, and I just did it, and my mom was really scared for me to do it that day, because she wasn't around. I went with, like, um, some friends from our church, and I literally picked it up right away. 63. I'm terrible at roller skating. So I can roller blade, I can ice skate, cannot roller skate for my life. I can do it if I'm holding on to somebody or holding on to something, but as for like leading myself, maybe it's because I haven't tried it as much, but like, scares me so much. 64. Everyone who knows me knows that I'm a Christian. It's hard for me to hide it. I don't try to hide it, but um, more often than not, when I meet people, they're like, are you a Christian? Or like, they pick up something about that. So, um, I'm happy about that. 65. So my favorite Bible verse is Isaiah 54 verse 17 and um, it says, No weapon formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. I always love that verse because it's like when I'm down or like when something's going on in my life, that kind of just like helps me remember that nothing can come against me if God is with me. You know? I love that verse. 66. I love music. 
67. I love tiny things. As you guys can tell from my my last video, if you guys watched it, the mini Nutella's had me going crazy, but like I love small things. I think it's so cute. 68. I've only ever had fish as a pet. I tried to have a dog once, but my family is all allergic to dogs. Um, uh, they're all allergic to cats as well, and I just don't want a cat. Um, hamsters, ferrets, all type of stuff, they just remind me of rats. I'm like, I'm okay. Um, so I've had pet fish. 69. I'm gonna read this one. Um, I once got a fish when I was nine years old, and the store we bought it from said that this type of fish could only last maybe a couple of days to a couple of weeks, and it actually ended up living to like over a year. Um, and uh, it died on my 11th birthday. Literally, we were at church that night for my like after my birthday or whatever. We were at church, and when we got home, I don't know if it like committed suicide or what happened, but the water was all over the floor, like the tank was like cracked, but it was still put together, but like there was a little crack. And I think the fish was on the floor too, so I think it like jumped out or something. I have no idea. We did name it Abraham though, because it lived longer than it should have, and Abraham in the Bible lived pretty long. 70. I was an aunt since I was nine years old. 71. I rather cookies over cake any day. 72. I rather frozen yogurt over ice cream any day. 73. This is another fact, even though I think I'm lactose intolerant. It's another fact about me. I was lactose intolerant as a child, and then I think I grew out of it. I don't know if that's possible. And then, like, now that, like, I drink more milk because, like, I drink coffee and stuff like that, um, I think, I don't know if it came back or maybe it's been there and I just didn't know because I wasn't drinking as much milk. I have no idea. But I still love everything that has milk in it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> 74. My dream car was a black Jeep and I got one for my 23rd birthday. That's what I'm sitting in right now. Yay. 75. I had a black Nissan before that. 76. My shoe size ranges between a 6 and an 8 depending on the type of shoe and the cut of the shoe. 77. My hair is naturally curly. 78. I drink a cup of tea just about every day. 79. My favorite fast food place is Chick-fil-A. 80. I love Starbucks. 81. I take showers at night. Yes, I do take showers in the morning sometimes, but ideally if it is a work week, I'll probably be taking it the night before, especially in the winter, just because it's freezing in the morning in New York and like I don't feel like getting sick. So I do take them the night before. Um, in the summer or the spring, I will usually take it in the morning. 82. I used to play the violin from grades 5 through 7th or 8th. 83. My senior trip was to Disney World in Florida and I did not go because of your basic drama, high school drama. <laughs> My family did make it up and number 84, we went to Dallas and Houston, Texas instead and it was a lot of fun. 85. I have moved schools about four or five times in my entire life. 86, my top pet peeve is the sound of loud chewing or breathing. 87, I hate when people lie to me for no reason. That's another pet peeve of mine. It's like, okay, lying is wrong, but like, okay, some people, maybe they have like a reason, which I don't really believe there's ever a specific reason to lie, but sometimes it's just like people who like make up lies just because they want to come off as someone who is different than what they are and i do not like that it really drives me crazy 88 i hate when people are disrespectful to their elders 89 i hate when people curse after every sing like every other word 90 i do not like wet feet that's another pet peeve i do not like when it rains and like it's the summertime and you're wearing sandals and then your feet get wet 91 i have never dyed my hair 92 I am a very persistent person. If I want something, I make sure that I work hard and I get it. 93. I always pray for God to have his will in my life before I try to plan anything out because at the end of the day, his will is higher than mine, his plan is higher than mine, and I don't want to go into anything thinking that I have the power to do every single thing when I know that God has the ultimate say. So I ask him for his guidance and then I do take action and I let him lead my, my path. So if things don't go exactly as planned, I know that it's a part of his will and I don't stress over it. <laughs> 94. I make to-do lists for everything. 95. I hate editing. 96. My favorite show used to be Dancing with the Stars that I even went and had my Sweet 16 themed with Dancing with the Stars and I did a few ballroom dances for my Sweet 16 as well because I was really into ballroom dancing. <laughs> 97. I believe that Jesus Christ is my savior. 
98, I believe there's only one way to heaven. 99, I believe that way is through Jesus Christ. <laughs> Obviously. And 100. The last fact is that I am open to making more Christian content and love doing YouTube. Um, so if anyone has any questions about anything like that and you want me to do some more Christian content, some more content about my faith, definitely comment that down below and I will definitely, definitely do that. That is my 100 facts. <laughs> Yay! Aside from that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and come back to see more. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, put on those post notifications, give this video a like, comment, uh, you know, maybe something that you have in common with me down below, and share it with somebody if you feel like it. I don't know. Um, and aside from that, Happy New Year, guys. I'm actually filming this on New Year's, and I just want to say Happy New Year. I hope you guys have a blessed and prosperous New Year, and I hope you guys um, just, you know, do everything you do to the best. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I love you guys so much. Bye! Let's jump in and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start